The Dornier Du X was a groundbreaking German flying boat designed and built by the Dornier Company in the late 1920s. It was the largest, heaviest, and most powerful aircraft of its time, representing a significant leap in aviation technology. Conceived by Claude Dornier in 1924, the project began in 1925 and took over 240,000 work hours to complete. The DOEX made its first flight on July 12, 1929, and immediately captured the world's attention due to its massive size and luxurious design. The DOEX was a semi-cantilever monoplane with an all-duralumin hull and wings made of a steel-reinforced duralumin framework covered in linen fabric and aluminum paint. Initially powered by 12 Siemens-built Bristol Jupiter radial engines, it struggled with overheating and could barely reach an altitude of 425 meters. In 1930, the engines were replaced with more powerful Curtis V-1570 Conqueror, water-cooled V-12 engines, allowing it to reach 500 meters necessary for transatlantic flights. The aircraft was designed to carry 66 passengers on long-distance flights or up to 100 on shorter routes. It featured three decks, including a smoking room, dining salon, and sleeping berths, rivaling the luxury of transatlantic liners. The upper deck housed the cockpit, navigation office, and engine control rooms, while the lower deck contained fuel tanks and watertight compartments. Despite its impressive design, the DOEX faced challenges. Only three units were built, the original DOEX and two Italian variants, the X2 and X3, which were slightly larger and used Fiat A22R engines. The aircraft's operational history was marked by a lack of commercial interest and several non-fatal accidents. Its most notable achievement was a transatlantic flight from Germany to New York in 1930 to 1931, which took nearly 10 months due to delays and a fire in Lisbon. The DUX's legacy is mixed. While it never achieved commercial success, it demonstrated the potential for large-scale international passenger air travel. The original DOEX was eventually turned over to Deutsche Lufthansa, but was damaged in a landing accident in 1933. It became a museum exhibit until it was destroyed in a World War II air raid in 1943. The Italian X-2 and X-3 were used for training and publicity flights before being scrapped in 1937. Today, the Dornier Du X remains a symbol of early aviation ambition, showcasing the technological and design challenges of its era. Fragments of the aircraft are displayed at the Dornier Museum in Friedrichshafen, Germany, preserving its legacy as a pioneer in aviation history.